welcome back to my channel or if you're new and just tuning in hello and welcome um i have today for you a little haul slash makeup try on um i went not went i got um i went online and did some shopping and it was at ulta <laughs> before i forget um they have a minimum shipping um amount like dollar amount before you can get free shipping so i had to spend i think it was 35 in order to get free shipping they also had a two for 26 deal um for a specific brand of shampoo that i needed so i grabbed those um and then they had a ten dollar off coupon because i haven't shopped in a while so i used that as well and then they had um, these foot peels that I've been using for the last like six, seven months. I got one, I got two um, on my last Ulta um, haul spending spree. I don't even know if I ended up filming that or if I did and I didn't upload it. But either way, it's this like watermelon citrus brand. And it's a foot peel and I love it. Um, I think it's been two, three days since I got the package and I did it. Um, so I got one for my mom again because I'm obsessed with them. And then my mom wanted to try one. So I got one for her. And I put mine on immediately. And it's been a few days and they are already peeling on my heels. I'm not going to show you that because that's gross. Um, but just know that it works really great. I will try and maybe link, um, what it is in the description because I don't have it with me and my phone is the one thing I'm using to record so I can't show you a picture of it. Um, and then I got, so I got those foot peels and then I got the hair care, um, and makeup wipes, which I forgot to bring over, but makeup wipes from Ulta Beauty um, brand, um, these from the Ulta Beauty brand, and then I could, oh, it's a brow tint, which I also, actually, that's right here. Brow tint for my brows. Um, so if you spent $19.50, from Ulta Beauty products that were on the list, you got a free makeup bag with some goodies in it. So I did that. And I also used my code to get the $10 off and did the two for 26. So I ended up being, I think my total was like well over what it's supposed to be. It was like 50 instead of 35. Um, but I did need um, quite a bit um, of the stuff. The only thing I really didn't need was the makeup wipes and the brow tint, but I actually don't have much brow tint, um, left. So it works. I needed it. But these no strips, my mom actually wanted, um, she didn't tell me she didn't want charcoal ones. She just told me she wanted no strips that were for pores. So I assume she meant this. So I grabbed these because they were a part of the sale. She didn't want charcoal ones, but she's still going to use these because I'm a maker. But I like these two, so I'm definitely going to use them. And then um, the makeup wipes I really didn't need, but I was like two fifty away from the nineteen fifty goal. And so I just put them in the cart. I figure they're for sensitive skin. I can use them when I'm on the go and I don't have a makeup remover with me. Um, and then I didn't realize this, but I came with a makeup remover um, in the little gift set that you got for free with the $19.50 purchase. So I'll show you everything that came with the $19.50 purchase and then I will do a little try on for you. Um, it's going to be very interesting because they don't have a mirror. <laughs> I'm not very well prepared, but let's not think about that. <laughs> so the first thing in the little gift set is this bag. You could choose between like a snake, uh, snake skin and this plum color. I chose the plum. It's 
little cute makeup bag. Nothing more to it. <laughs> the next thing is a makeup remover. It is, um, I think it's Ulta old, old brand because all of the stuff is Ulta brand. But it's exactly the same material as um, the makeup remover company. Um, it's like a felty, you don't need anything but warm water to take off your makeup with. And I love them. So I'm super actually very glad that it came with that. Um, and then it came with two little brushes. They are super soft. I'm going to use those today. Um, a Ulta Beauty New Heights lifting mascara, which I'm going to use today, even though I have several open already, just so I can do a try on video for you guys. Um, then an Ulta Beauty lipstick in the shade Barely There. Barely There. You can't even read that. But it looks like that. And I'm going to try that on for you, even though I have several open lipsticks also. Um, it came with a lip gloss, a shiny sheer lip gloss from Ulta Beauty. And a mattifying face primer and an eyeshadow and a matte eye primer in nude so i'm going to use all those oh and lastly came with a little palette it is eight piece eyeshadow palette ultra beauty collection doesn't have a name but it looks like that it's fall colors it's got City Lights, Meet Me Downtown, Wanderlust, But First Coffee, Gridlock, Rush Hour, Nightlife, and Skyline Sunset. I don't think that looks like a sunset at all, but alright. <clears throat> we are gonna swatch and we are gonna put on because that's what the video is all about. Besides showing you what I got. So I'm gonna use the um, tint because it's Ulta Beauty. This is basically an Ulta Beauty try-on. Um, then afterwards, I will use the makeup wipe, not the makeup wipes, the um, towel to take off my makeup and I will put on a nose strip. Uh, so let's see, what should I start with? Probably I should start with the primer for the eyelids. I'm trying to see if I have a mirror near me. I don't think I do. It just sucks. Oh well. We're going to use the camera. Okay. So, oh, alrighty. I guess I wanted that much. So we got that going on the eyelid. Feels interesting. Nothing bad. I'm really just hoping that it doesn't make me my eyes water. Only problem I'll have with it is if it makes my eyes water. It's kind of oily. But I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be matte, so I don't know. Let me know if you can tell if it's matte or not. It's definitely got a tint to it, like a color. It says nude, but... And it also says oil-free, but it feels super oily. Maybe that's the matte. It's also fragrance-free and paraben-free. Um, and then we got face primer, mattifying face primer. It's also oil-free and controls shine and blurs pores. We'll see about that. Oh. Well, that's an interesting tube. Looks like that. Looks like a lip gloss, like a Carmex lip gloss. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on my problem areas, like right here and my nose. I don't really wanna use this too much. I'm not putting foundation on today because it didn't come with any and I don't have any. So it's not like I need a primer, a face primer anyway, other than to try it on for you guys. Maybe I'll put a bit on my cheek. I mean my uh, chin. Because I do have some pores right here. I just hope it doesn't make me break out. Because that'll suck. Alright. We got that. 
I'll go ahead and do the brow tint. And then I will do the mascara because I do mascara before I do my lids. And then the shadow with the brushes and then the lipstick and then the shimmer. So the brow, uh, brow tint looks like that. Comes in a big bottle. This is by no means going to be purple. Per Whoa, that is dark way darker than I was hoping. Well, my eyebrows are there. Hello. I also can't really see, so, you know, bear with me. We're gonna bring you closer. All right, that looks somewhat decent. Doesn't look perfect, but I don't have a mirror. Okay, lashes. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Ooh, I really like the wand. It's a thin, small wand. Clumped. A little bit there. I, ooh, interesting wand. I don't know if that's a chunk missing. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna bring you closer so I can see. Don't mind my cat. Hello. My eyelashes are definitely there. I really like this. My cat is really saying hi today. I will show her in just a few seconds. Ooh, my balls, my eyeballs hurt. There she is. Missy Boo. Her name is Missy Blue and or Aphrodite. I'm trying to get her whole, there she is. She's more focused on the curtain than anything. Missy Blue. Hey baby girl. Aphrodite. She does not care. All right. Sorry for my hand in the way. Can you see her? <laughs> She's just hanging out saying hi today. I really like this mascara, I think. Uh, it's for sure too soon to tell because my eyeballs like to water. But so far, so good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is the lids. Okay, so I'm gonna use, oh, let's see. The more blendy brush for um, Meet Me Downtown, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my entire lid. Wow, it's really flaky. I have nothing to look at, so here we go again. Oh, stopped recording. But here we go. I'm just going to put that all over my entire lid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a really light color but I want that because my eyes are hooded and so the only area of my eye eyeball that can be covered in a darker color is like right here so it gives the illusion that I have more of a hood than I less of a hood than I do my eyes need to 
basically be very, very, whoa, you saw that fall out. My eyes need to be very, very light for the most part. I'm not doing the best techniques right now, but that is because I don't have a, a um, mirror. The next color I'm going to use is But First Coffee, and that's the very, very, this guy right here. At the very end. That's just the next lightest brown. Um, the only lightest brown. Um, there's a darker brown called Rush Hour, but I really don't want to use that one. Because it's too dark. I feel like it's too dark anyway. Oh, maybe not. Because that's not dark at all. Let's see. Okay, it definitely got darker. Whoa. It's so hard to see. I don't know if that's a shadow. I can't tell. We'll be able to tell better on this side. Oh no, that's totally the shadow. I could see it now. So we're gonna have to... figure out how to blend that out a little bit better. So basically, the part of the eye you really want to um, accentuate with a dark color is like right here. Because that's the part where it's drooped out the most. And so you want it to look darker so it goes in. And then up here you want super light. And then the very tip of the lid right there you want super light also. So you can see I'm going back in just to make this section look as dark as possible and then at the very end you clean up your edges because usually if you do it in the middle I mean you can too but if you do it in the middle you're just gonna end up having to do it again um then if I can find the other brush we are gonna go in with let's see city lights maybe it's the lightest shimmer it's the first color in the palette and we're just gonna put that on the very lid in the middle. And we're gonna pack it in there. In the corner also. So, I can't really tell if it looks good or bad. It kind of looks bad on camera, but I really can't tell without a mirror and better lighting. But it doesn't look horrible considering I used my camera. Um, you know, I'm kind of wanting to go in with this Siltberg Gridlock color just to see what it does. That right color right there. I can't see it at all in camera, but I'll see what it looks like off camera later. All right. Well, that's it for the lids. Now we're going to do the lipstick. I'm sorry. This video is pretty messy. definitely lighter than my skin tone I mean my not my skin tone but my um pink my lips that was the word I was looking for it's definitely not a matte it is definitely a watercolor 
I don't know what you call it. It does not matte down, I don't think. You'll stay glossy. It looks good. Let me add the shiny sheer lip gloss. All right, sorry for that squeaky noise. That was the lip gloss closing. That's the final look. I mean, it's definitely very sheer. Um, you kind of can't tell I'm wearing makeup besides my mascara, but that's kind of a good look for me. I like it when I can't really tell I'm wearing makeup. I've got a lot of blemishes. Sorry, I'm insecure. <laughs> And I also don't have my hair done up, and I can't really see very well the lighting sucks. Um, that's just me nitpicking, but I really do like this stuff, cam-free. Let me do a little quick swatch test for you of all the colors, so you can kind of get a better look at them all. So the first one, City Lights. It's the shimmery color. It's not going to show up very well on screen, but it's right there. And then we have Meet Me Downtown, which is a matte color. It looks like this. It is one of those like skin tone almost colors right there. Yeah. And then we have the next one is Wanderlust and it's like a rose gold pink type color. Can you even see it on screen? No. It's right there underneath. You can barely see it. Shimmery. Then we got But First Coffee, which I used on my lids in the hood section. I think I could have gone darker, but you know. I really didn't want to risk ruining the look in its entirety. It's right there. I love how my wrist moves, so really I want it to be right here, but it's right there. <laughs> then we have Grid Lock. Looks like that. It's actually silver, believe it or not. I'm going to move it over this way. So maybe you can see it a little bit better when I twist my arm. I can barely see it on my skin. So I'm going to do a second coat just so you guys can hopefully see it. It's right. Oh, went further. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I've never known how to swatch anything in my life. So, you know. We're just getting used to this. Got that color right there. Okay, this is where I need to do it. Right there. Okay. So basically on this side of my arm. <laughs> Alright, then we got that color. That color shows up real well. I'm just going to do a quick double layer. That one right there. This one's a shiny. Um, oh, that one was called Rush Hour. I don't know if I said that or not. This one's called Nightlife. It is a darker gray metallic -y. Looks like that right there. And the last one we have is Skyline Sunset. It looks like that. And it's a darker pink rose gold type color but it doesn't show up like that at all um yeah so that's a swatch line <laughs> horrible it doesn't show up too well on camera because they're all super light to my skin tone but they do look really nice and they felt really velvety on my fingers um i'm gonna go wash this all off with my makeup remover that i got 
put on a nose strip and call it a night. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe for any more content that you might also like or other content if you didn't like this. Um, I do ghost hunting. I do um, hauls a lot. Um, video streaming, uh, video game streaming of Fortnite. I do kind of like a bunch of random stuff. Crystals. Um, I'm going to get into um, talking a lot about different crystals and their meanings and what each of them do, how they can help you in your life, um, their importance, um, how they've helped me thus far, that kind of thing. So stick around for more content and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.